Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to teach you how to not be an idiot and get scammed on a bizarre day with my friend Baby Jesus on behalf. Say something. Yes. Alright, so we're going to start with number one. These are nine reasons uh, on how to not get scammed. So, or <laughs> not reasons, ways to not get scammed. Anyways, so step one. Let's say if they're saying they have Shadow the World and you're not sure, check effects that the stand has. If like if you hit them and they don't regenerate, they're most likely trying to scam at you. Cause Vampire lets you regenerate. So uh, be careful about that. Anyways, number two. If they're if they are telling you to join their VIP and they have a friend in the server. Don't do the trade. They might try to interrupt it. Four. If someone says their stand is bugged and they can't do anything with it, they're most likely they most likely don't have a, the stand or they're standless. Mods would fix that whenever they can, or really fast. It's best to wait if the, it's best to wait until it's fixed or something because they might use that as an excuse to not having the stand. Five. If you're trading one stand and the other person is trading two stands for your stand, you would, you should trade your stand with the most value first. So even with the one with the most value first. So even if they do try to scam you, you will have an equal amount to your last stand. If someone asks you for a test, you say yes, you're dumb. Number seven. If they're saying that they have a stand that's really good and... They say they will trade it to you after you trade them. Don't trade them! Number eight. If people have one more time, cars, universal, gold, golden experience, requiem, diamond sword, samurai, or sans crimson. One more time changes your avatar. Sans crimson gives you a flaming blue eye. Cars gives you gloves with a blade. Sword appears on your back. So does shiny sword. Diamond sword also appears on your back because it's a shiny of shiny sword. UGER has a purple aura on their body. If they say they if they don't have any of that and they say they do, they're scamming. Nine. Some people try to get you into a VIP server and say I'll help you grind for an item or I'll hold a stand for you while you're grinding. If you're not a brain lit, something like this would be an obvious scam. Ten. Don't be an idiot and use common sense. If it looks like someone is trying to scam you, you don't go and do the trade. Alright guys, that's 9 ways to not get scammed in the bazaar day. I hope this is useful. I made this video because of this recent event where this guy tried to scam me twice. And then, like, I got really paranoid from it because he might have tried again because some random dude came up to me and said Roy and then pulled out Shadow of the World because I was, like, trying to trade for Shadow of the World. Anyways, so... And he was like menacing and stuff. And then when I said I don't trust him, I get kicked from the server for you know why. So, uh, I know that the kick event was probably because like some weird admin glitch or something like that, or somehow an exploiter. I don't know how that would work. But anyways, that's the video for today. I'll see y'all later and goodbye.